All right, motherfuckers. What? Um, I'm back talking to myself. I'm gonna do one thing real quick. I'm gonna pause, and I've resumed pausing, unpausing. I've resumed playing. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I turned it on airplane mode to save battery, because um, my battery is at half power. And if Hang With Friends is on, it'll die in about two seconds. So, um, I last left off with Goken, and how he influenced my Kokushi design, and kind of how he's going to... That was a burp. He, how he's going to influence that character. So, Kokushi's look... He's got two distinct looks. His first look, uh, his original design was kind of a, a mix between Raiden or Raiden, Raiden from Mortal Kombat and Jin's um, Tekken 4 outfit, which is probably the best outfit almost ever. Um, his little jumpsuit thing. So he had like a, a jumpsuit, a ninja esque jumpsuit. Um, you know, with the, with the rice hats, because that's how you know they're Asian. Rice hats, mixed with racism. Um, his second design I based off of, um, actually based off of Kokushi's, uh, Kaiji Muro's alter ego when he teamed with Jinsei Shinzaki. Um, when they were with uh, B-A-T-T, or Bat. I don't know if they had a name like that for it, but it is. Um, he kind of has, like, this kimono dress. He has, like, samurai shoulder armor. He's got huge beads wrapped around his neck. The prayer beads, but they're huge, like Akuma's. And he has the kanji written all over his body. So I kind of want to keep that look for his primary outfit. His secondary outfit, I'm going to switch to the old ninja outfit. Um, that's how I want him to look. His play style is going to be very much like Goken's. He's kind of the inspiration for the character fighting design. Goken is a very powerful character. He does not have a lot of combos. He does not need them because most of his moves have a direct purpose and they are very, very useful and they are strong and if you get hit with... If you get beaten by Goken, you know why. Like, there's no, like, bullshit about it. So... His primary attacks are with his kicks and with, like, palm, different types of palm strikes. Um, since he's influenced almost by um, Hakushi and Jinsei Shinzaki and Kaiji Muro. Yes, I know Hakushi is Jinsei Shinzaki. Who cares? Or, like in Heat Wave 98, Jinsei Shinzaki! Because he fucked up. The yeah, answer fucked up. He, you know, comes from Slack, but I'm not. You do it. I don't wanna. He, um, I was thinking about since um, they do, he does like a praying stance, or I guess when Jinsei Shizaki slash Hakushi does moves, he does a pray. The praying power bomb, the Nembutsu bomb, the praying shoulder block from the top, uh, the praying rope walk. He prays, you know, when he does it. So I wanted to give Go. No, Go I keep calling him Goku. I wanted to give. Um, I don't know if I want to call him Kokushi or Yakushi. I think I'm gonna call him Yakushi. Yakushi. For now, because Kokushi is what Kaiji Muro's character is called. Um. So Yakushi is gonna have. I want a way to power up his moves, so maybe he does a pray first, and then does it. But what I didn't want is I didn't want him to just be static doing the pray and then doing a move, because what's the point? Um, 
in the in a 3D fighting game, that would be useful because he would have to switch stances. So I'm thinking that he's going to you do the prey, and that's going to power up one of his special moves. And as soon as you use that special move, the the prey power goes away, or the extra strength. And it's going to be clearly visible. He'll pray. There'll be a glow. I think his kanji uh, on his body is going to glow. On his ninja outfit, he does have logos and stuff on his shirt. So maybe they'll glow. But there'll be a visual cue that he is charged at. Um, for, uh, for the EX charge, um, if I do give him one, I haven't really talked about EX anything. Um, the EX's, I guess, maybe he'll keep it for two moves or something. Who knows? Who knows? Um, as far as his special moves and attacks go, I wouldn't mind giving him a fireball. It would seem weird that he's got a fireball since he's from the WFL game, which doesn't have fireballs. I'll give him a fireball or something. Um, maybe a strong, like a maybe like a half screen fireball, but it's strong. It's a quick and not quick, but maybe it'll be like a two hitter. Um, I want him to have palm strikes. I know I've got a couple in his regular move set. Um, but that's kind of his overall idea for his design. I wanted him to be very methodical, very straightforward, strong, um, not really, his combos are not his strong point or his focus. Um, but he's got good options, no matter where he is on the screen. Um, when he's up close, obviously he's going to be a little bit stronger. Um, and a fireball. He glows. He glows in his fireballs. What else does people like? You know, who, who, what, what else can you? What else can you do? All right. Um, I might want to get some coffee. I'll meet late for school. Anyhow. Um. So that's. That's Yakushi. Can you call me Kokushi? Who gives a shit? It's Yakushi. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even look at them. Um, Yakushi. So on the other side, WFL also has power. Power is a very strong, big, muscular wrestler. Um, one thing that's going to set him apart from other wrestlers in other games is that he's got a little bit of maneuverability. He does have a duck dash um, with some moves out of it. Um, so he's not just a slow lumbering. He's got like a quick dash forward. Um, not really quick. It goes under some stuff. Um, the thing that makes it slightly dangerous is that his dash... Um, He's got a high, which is like a uh, spinning back chop, Kobashi style. That should stun them, you know, has a lot of hit stun. Um, he's got a juggle uppercut, the Raiden Fist, um, that will juggle people. He's got a flying boot thing. Like a flying... I'm trying to think of who does the move. Um, Mochizuki, Dragon Gate. Easy. Just like a flying kick to the face. Um, now, the Raiden Fist is, is um, mid. So you have to duck it. Or you have to block it high. Wait. No, it's mid, so if you duck it, you get hit, clearly. Um, the other two are high, so his back chop is a high move, and the flying boot is a 
very high move. Um, it goes straight forward. Um, I, primarily, its uses are for combo enders or catching people off guard with stuff. Um, maybe backdashing or stupid moves. You can get him, boom. Flying kick. Ah! Um, he also has, out of his dash, a grab. Now, the grab is a backdrop driver. And most grabs in the game are going to be able to be broken. This is one of those grabs. So his mix-ups are either you block it or you're going to get grabbed. Now, the backdrop driver is a different type of grab in the sense that it's out of the dash. He's going to be able to grab you. You're going to be able to break the grab. But if the backdrop driver hits you, um, or if you get, if the backdrop driver hits, they're, they can't tech it. Even if they have, um, meter to tech it, they're not going to be able to tech it. So they're going to be stuck kind of like in a crumple ground stun for a little bit. Um, and I did specifically give him a combo chain just for that, to pick people up off the ground for OTG moves. Um, because uh, power, it, power strength lies in the fact that he can grab you from anywhere. He's got a duck dash he can grab you from. He's got a close range grab. That's pretty strong. He's got air grabs. Those are his main anti-airs. Um, he's going to be able to grab you out of the air. Um, he has like an anti-air. Like literally one move that knocks people out of the air. Um, but that's it. Um, it's just an uppercut. Not even an uppercut. It's like a back. It's like a high... Ah, it's an uppercut. Fuck it. It's an uppercut. Not like a dragon uppercut or anything like that. It's just a punch in the air and they fly away. Um, but he can grab people out of the air if they're not paying attention or they jump in with the wrong type of attack. He's going to grab you. Um, the danger in his grabs are the fact that he can do multi-throws like King could in Tekken. So, getting hit with a grab in this game, besides the backdrop driver, every single one will net you possibly more damage. The other cool thing that I'm going to implement on his multi-throws is with in Tekken, you can, um, as I do, I can mash buttons um, that are generally the right buttons, like um, kings like 1, 2, 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2. Mm -hmm. um, in this one, I'm going to leave a very strict timing policy. You're going to have a small window to implement the, the buttons, and it's only going to take the first input. So if you do a multi-throw, it's only going to take the first input, and if you fuck up on the input, they're going to be able to reverse it. I think it's a good trade-off with multi-throws that you're not, not just stuck eating damage. So if the, your opponent fucks up the, the inputs, you get hit with damage. Like, they will, they will reverse it on you. Um, I thought that was a good idea. So it's in there. Um, as far as, like, what type of chain throws he's got, I know that... I wrote them down. Um, I've, I have too much of my stuff in different places. It needs to be all condensed into one. I have, like... A notebook with like six pages. I've got this. I've got the Word document on Christina's laptop. Um, I know that he's got his power bomb chain, where it's power bomb, power bomb um, into I think um, the. I know power bomb, power bomb into a third power bomb for the STDs. Smooth roll destruction. <laughs> Uh, two power bombs into an F5. Um, 
I know he's got the suplex chain where it's suplex suplex and then I think it's the Chichibu Cement or the Orange Crush. Um, and then his... Um, now those two are just grabs. If you're in range, he's going to grab you, he's going to powerbomb you, powerbomb, you know, suplex, suplex. Um, the other one, his EX chain throw, is a hit. Um, it's a pretty quick boot. It's a boot like um, every WWE, WWE guy has to set up his finisher, even though it doesn't make any sense. Um, I hated the fact that they booted people. Um, and then just did a move. It was really annoying. Everyone had it. It was a like, boot. Pedigree, boot. Stunner, boot. 450. It was just it was crazy. Um, like, why, why not just throw out the boot all the time? If that's how you get your finisher out, just boot him. Boot. Um... So his boot, he's going to throw a quick little kick into the Stone Cold Stunner. Uh, he's going to turn them around, hit them with the Grand Sword. That's the chop. Um, and I don't remember how it finished. I know it finished kind of ridiculous. In a move that didn't matter. Um, the other thing about his chain throws is that he can chain throw out of the air. So if he grabs you... Um, he can jump and do an air throw and chain that too. I think those ones are only two hits, so he's gonna chain you out of the air and then do one move on the ground. He's also, if he grabs you out of the air, if he's standing and you come in at him and he grabs you out of the air, he can do two chain throws out of that too. Um, and if you're on the ground. So if you don't have meter to do the auto tech away, um, he's gonna be able to grab you on the ground also. Um, now, most of the, the, the ground throws can be broken, like most throws, but still, it's a danger, so, um, if he is close to you, you are in trouble. That is just how it goes. The other thing is that his super grabs, tons of range, um, For his, I know for his level two, it's gonna be a shit ton of range. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. So that's kind of his character. Um, well, as far as special moves, I know I want to give him. Um, sure, he's got the duck dash. He's got those moves. Um, I was thinking about giving him a charge dance. Um, and like Dogen, who I probably forgot to mention this, he's, he can run, um, so he's got a dash run move, same thing as Dogen, um, where he can do moves out of the dash. He can't stop the dash, however, neither can Dogen, so if they commit to the run, they have to do a move out of the run. Um, so I know Power has the John Wu also and a, the Shining Black. Um, I know he's got those. I know he's got a lariat. I know he has an OTG lariat, like the burning lariat. Picks him up by the head. Clotheslines him down. And what's funny about that is that they, he clotheslines him down again. So, if you get hit with the lariat, he's a little bit further away. He's got to dash in before he does another ground throw. And the timing's got to be a little bit there, but um, you got to get up, bro. You just got to get the fuck up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Do it. Do it. Um, what else? That's generally, that's power. Strong, chain throws, lariats. He's got boot. Boots, people. Um, <laughs> else on that side do I think I'm missing? We talked about Lithia. We talked about S a little bit. We talked about... Ah! I could go into Ray and Michelle. 
Ray and Michelle, also known as Ray. Michelle is just the female palette swap of him. Um, she'll be the third costume. Everyone's got three costumes. The third one's a bonus one. Hers, is, his is Michelle, basically. Um, now his fighting style is purely punches, elbows, knees, kicks. That's it. Um, his ferocity is very good too. Um, he's very unorthodox, very wild, very violent. Um, um, I know I want to give him like a power fist move. That's kind of his specialty. A lot of knees, a lot of big hits. Um, and a few annoying chains. Uh, I know I want him to have like an OTT chain. Um, the thing that's going to make him slightly dangerous, I think, is um, since the the corner game in uh, this game is slightly different than other 2D games. Once you're in a corner, um, you can break through corners. Um, but you have to hit the wall a few times to break through a corner. So if you get stuck in the corner and you get hit with combos, it's going to break a little bit easier. Um, now his power fist, kind of like a mock fist from with uh, Brian Fury's Tekken one. Um, that fist, if he if they hit a wall after that, they kind of hit the wall and then they'll crumple a little bit, which gives him some more time to dash in and keep you know, hitting him again. Um, maybe even leading to another fist. Now, I think two fists should break the wall, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, he, he could be pretty dangerous in the corner if he gets that crumple hit. Um, since there's no way to stun enemies in the game besides your using all three of your burst meter um, for a guaranteed stun, uh, or dizzy, basically, um, everyone's kind of got a, a move that stuns them, but that one, if it hits them in the corner, is gonna it's gonna be pretty strong. Um, but overall, his character is rushed down in the sense that um, I wouldn't even really say rush down. He, he's a close range fighter. He's got good combos. Um, he doesn't really have anything far range. Um, Anti-airs are okay. No big deal. But he wants to be in there. He wants to do his hits. And he does good damage. Um, with his punches and his knees, elbows. Um, that's his general style. He's very violent. Um, very rough. Um, that's him. And Michelle's just the same as him. Same, exact same style. Hitboxes are probably going to be the same. No bigs on that one. <sighs> There's a yawn. Um, let's see. On that side. I'm trying to picture the character select screen in my head. It's not working. Uh, and every time I look and I forget people. Um, we could move on to Twinkle. I like him. Uh, Twinkle is a, was a criminal in jail, Steel Justice, who, while in jail, he found the power of fairies, and once he, he breaks out of jail to fight crime, and then gets, brings himself back into jail. So figure that out. Um... But he just wants to fight crime, you know? Using the power of fairies. And so he kind of looks like one. He's got, um... He's got a tingle outfit with all green. With a tutu. He's got a, um... Fucking semi-trucks. Don't know how to fucking drive. Um... He's got a rainbow bright-ish outfit. Um... He's got a tutu kind of outfit, too. I don't know which one's gonna be... the main one. I've drawn him with the Rainbow Bright outfit, so it's pretty much going to be it, I guess. Um, he 
he's he's a pretty good character. He reminds me a little bit of Rufus um, when I was making him. Except Twinkle's got some fireballs, well, magic wand blasts. Uh, so he's got a regular straightforward magic blast, and his um, he has an upward blast um, for magic. Um, now he also has a rainbow dash. Um, his rainbow dash is kind of like a full screen type of thing um, with some options out of it. A high, mid, and low option. I guess, I guess I should say high. I should say mid and low and then a complete um, anti-air. Like it just knocks anything out of the air. Um, the thing about it is that it's a charge move. And um, it's a charge move for the run. So you got to hold back, forward, hit a button. And then you have to hit another button to do um, the other ones. Now there is a timing. Um, there's a certain amount of frames where he can't do an attack, so he has to start the fully has to start the running or the, the rainbow dash before he can do another move afterwards. So you can't just like bust out an all powerful anti air whenever you want. You can't charge for it, right? Right. Um. So there's like, yeah, the rainbow dash goes low, um, he's also got a mid one, and then the one that just knocks him completely out in the air. Um, he's got a spinning move, like a, a ballerina spin. Now, he's got a forward spin, which hits, you know, three times. One for each spin, because he spins three times. He's got a forward spin, and then he can do a wand blast. So it's a more powerful version of his fireball. Um, so the three hits will hit, the arm will hit, you know, um, shooting out, you know, holding out the wand and shooting, and then the wand blast itself. They're all gonna hit. So um, now the reason I, I I put that move in there, it's cool for combos, um, but if you knock them down and do the spin blast, um, that fireball is stronger than his regular fireballs, and it hits multiple times, about two or three. So it can kind of trap people on wake-up games, so you can throw it um, and trap them in, because they have to block, obviously, as soon as they get up, if they don't tech it. Um, so there's that. He can also do a spin into like a low sweep, and then he can do the spin kicks in, or the spin into like a, a ballerina kick. Um, now he can also do the same moves backwards. Um, so he'll do a spin backwards, kind of dodging enemy attacks, and then he will do the attack. Now that's kind of primarily for um, jump ins, wake ups. Um, he can, tr you know, spinning forward or backwards. No big deal. Um, he's also got a... Yeah, the, the spin, the wand moves. Um, as far as his, like, normal attacks go, they're very normal-ish. Um, nothing too... right home about. You know, they're very basic. His wand attacks are his strong. Um, hitting moves, he's got, you know, a kick... They're not like anything special. His normal moves are not kind of his point. The point is, is that he's silly, and he flies around the screen like a fucking rainbow unicorn, and shoots fireballs out of his magic wand, and you know other shit. So that's kind of that character. But I like him. He's he's a silly character. He's very serious. I draw him very very serious in a very silly outfit. So it, it it's funny to me. Um, Sophie is another character I had a hard time picking moves for, but I think I got it down. Um, also, I don't know what she looks like yet, so that's kind of a hard thing too. The only thing I know for sure is that she does have like a staff that she can use, um, so she's got that. Um, so she's got like a dashing, um, for special moves. She can do like a dash um, hit with her staff. Um, I was thinking like more of a straightforward hit. 
um, to give it a little bit more range. I think a bit like Rose's little dash scarf attack. Um, so like that. Um, she's also got a staff burst where she slams the staff into the ground and it pops people up for juggles. Think of um, Vipers, uh, Seismos. Um, now she can't, uh, when she hits the staff, it's just wherever the staff hits. So she can't pop people up from across the screen like Viper can. Um, but it does get them up in the air for a juggle. Um, they can tech it though, like most things, if they have the meter to do it. So if she gets, if she gets them up in the air, they can tech. Um, she's also got a ground wave. Um, so she hits uh, her staff into the ground and it creates a ripple. Now, technically it counts as a projectile. Um, so it can be stopped by other projectiles. But what's going to be tricky about it is that some parts of the wave go higher up than others, so it's going to be tricky to jump over because of there'll be certain spikes um, in the ripple. So it's um, it'll go you know kind of low, 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 medium, medium, high, high, low, 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 and that's how the think of um, think of it like a wave that comes out of the ground, um, you know, with energy wave. Um, now, since I wanted her to be, be able to, you know, be pretty combo heavy, she's going to have a lot of chains, um, and shit. Um, one thing that, uh, about her supers is that, um, her level one, she is going to um, summon a bunch of um, orby things that circle around her um, that hit them, that hit the opponent. Um, it, it gives her some more damage output. Um, now, for her level 2, it's just a big magic blast outwards, kind of like a full screen thing. Um, if she hits it up close, she gets it's going to do shit crazy damage. Like, nuts. nuts so damage. Um, so what I wanted to do was do a trade-off. So her level 2, if she has two... She's going to have a level 2 meter. You can chain together two level 1s. So she can have, instead of um, two orbs floating around, she's going to be able to have four. Um, and they're not going to be like... Um, Roses in She Fighter 4, where they disappear on hit. They stay for a few seconds. Um, so if you can chain two of them together, get in, bust out some combos, it's not so. She should be a pretty powerful character with meter. So I like her. Um, when I return, because this is an ongoing series apparently, uh, I will talk about the rest of the Zebfu cast, and then maybe I'll open up my notebook and look at all the characters I missed. So, I'll do that. Thank you. I have to hit the pause button again. Fucking pause button.